I am the smartest man alive! Welcome back to the Skill Builders Guild. Thanks again for watching. Today we're taking a quick look at the new Spectrum RC Firma 40 ESC. Now, there is a lot of speculation about this new ESC. Not a lot of people have actually had this in their hands yet, but they've been quick to denounce it or suggest that this isn't all that great. I'm here to dispel that myth. It is a pretty excellent ESC slash receiver combo. And before we go into too much detail, let me tell you who I think this ESC receiver combo is excellent for. It is excellent for people like me who's looking to reduce the footprint of their overall electronics, someone who's looking for a very advanced and also equally affordable ESC slash receiver combo, and someone who's already well into the Spectrum ecosphere. If you have a current radio like a DX5C, DX5C Rugged, any of the radios that are smart compatible, this is an excellent choice to make especially if you're looking to simplify things and make things easier on yourself and also make use of a limited amount of space in your tiny trucks. If you are a modeling enthusiast and you spend a lot of time on the details and you've got a full interior and you've got a full engine bay, sometimes there's not a lot of room for electronics. And this is where something like the Firma 40 really comes in handy. It's a small footprint it includes the ESC and the receiver all in one and delivers a lot of great performance and a lot of great features at a low price for a brushed ESC. If you're familiar with the new Axial Racing SCX-10 III RTR, then you are familiar with the Firma 40. That is the included ESC receiver combo. You do get a lower end smart spectrum radio included in that combo, but because it is smart technology DSMR, you can bind that ESC slash receiver to any smart compatible radio. Along with the excellent... It's my radio telling me it's been inactive for too long. And while you do need to buy the optional Dynamite programming card, there are a lot of really excellent programmable features. The only one missing that I was able to find was that the BEC is stock set to six volts. There's no way to change that in the programming card, but for most enthusiasts, programming your BEC beyond six volts isn't really going to be a deal breaker, especially with a brushed motor, even on 3S, which this ESC is capable of. In addition to all those excellent programming tools, you do also have the benefit of Spectrum Smart Telemetry. The telemetry is built into this ESC receiver combo and is compatible with any DX5C or any other smart radio. So you get excellent displays on your radio telling you exactly how much voltage is left in the battery, the temperature of that battery, how many volts are flowing through your motor. There's a lot of really excellent detail even in the battery department telling you how much the battery is imbalanced, how many cycles it's had, how many milliamp hours it's consumed since you plugged it in. There is a lot of really cool data here and it's something that I'm really excited to see come a little more mainstream. I am a sucker for information and I love telemetry. It's a really excellent way to keep a good track of all the things that's going on with inside your truck. You will want to use batteries from Spectrum with the special IC3 connector. That said, this IC3 connector is backwards compatible with their previous EC3 connectors. So if you've got old batteries, you can still use them. You just won't be able to get any of the battery telemetry out of this ESC. Because it's brushed, it will not register RPMs, and I think that's because there's no easy way for it to figure out the uh, RPMs of a brushed motor. Uh, on, a, on a brushless motor, it definitely does tell the RPMs. Uh, I don't know why, and I don't know how. It's science. One thing to mention, if you don't have the programming card, you are locked into the features that are set at the factory, but they've set up this ESC to be very crawler specific. As stock from the factory, the drag brake is set up to 70%, which is a really nice sort of mid-ground for where I like my drag brake to be. So, not something I really need to change. It's already set up for forward and instant reverse. It's already preset to LiPo technology. It's already set for a medium auto LiPo cutoff. Forward and reverse are set to a maximum of 100%. You can, of course, adjust that with the programming card or even on your radio for that matter. 
Among other already pre-programmed values, this is pretty much set exactly how a lot of crawling specific trucks are going to love it. I will say from initial tests, it is also a very smooth ESC. Throttle control is excellent. It does a really good job of very low end, especially because it's a brushed motor ESC. The Firma does come standard with bullet connectors. I cut those off and soldered directly to my motor, in this case a Holmes Hobbies uh, Trailmaster Sport. I think that's what this is. There are two pigtails for lights, both front and rear. I've found that the front or black and white wired pigtail does have a higher voltage than the rear lighting, uh, which are labeled black and red. Definitely nice that those are included, just frees up a couple of channels so you aren't using them for lights. While this ESC might not appeal to us hardcore people who really need a lot of extra power and programming and uh, just feature sets on an ESC, this is a really excellent starter unit. And it's also excellent for those of us who don't need to have a ton of extra features. If you want a nice basic small footprint ESC slash receiver that will work with your existing Spectrum radio gear, then this might be a good choice for you, especially if you're not looking to go to brushless. If you are just going to be building a trail truck that is short on space, but needs a really decent ESC and receiver combo, I think I'd be pretty happy to recommend the Firma 40. With all the added telemetry, battery data, ESC data, temperature data, and a lot of really great options for programming once you unlock it with the programming card, this is a pretty decent value, especially at the price they're offering it at, which is how much exactly? Amainhobbies.com, Firma 40. $45? Okay, that alone is an excellent reason to consider the Firma 40. For $44.99, you get an ESC and receiver combo that will work with your existing radios. I think we can all agree that that's a pretty great deal. Considering a five channel receiver is $59.99, I can see myself getting a lot more of these Firma ESCs for my brushed, more scale accurate trucks. Now there's nothing wrong with spending a lot of money on an ESC and a receiver and having your radio gear separate from your ESC. That makes a lot of sense, especially if you're using it for a very high performance or high end vehicle. You don't wanna have something where one part might fail and the other doesn't, and then you're stuck with a piece that doesn't work at all. It's really nice to have everything separate, but in the case of these trail trucks and in some of these more scale accurate trucks that I'm building, I can definitely find a place for the Firma 40. As you can see by its footprint, it doesn't take up much more, in fact, probably less space than a typical, I don't know, Mamba X and uh, SR515 receiver, all in the same package for substantially less dollars. Uh, just by the look of this programming card, I have a sneaking suspicion that the Firma 40 is a rebadged hobby wing style uh, ESC, uh, but I cannot confirm that. I don't know for sure. Uh, if somebody has a decent idea about where they think this might have come from, put a comment down below. You know I love reading through your feedback, and I try to answer as many of them as I can. It keeps getting harder. That's what she said. Uh, but I do really appreciate all the feedback that you guys constantly deliver. And hey, if you're enjoying this video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell so you get updates anytime there's a new video from the Scale Builders Guild. We've got a lot more products coming into the workshop that need reviewing. And uh, well, actually, you know what? Let's finish this video off with a little Spectrum Firma 40 ESC receiver combo in the SCX-102 UMG-10. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.